Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. The Land Sport Aviation Showcase starts Thursday. FAA validates Canadian Bell 407 GXI certification. And Thrush 510G Switchback Firefighter certified. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. It's October 31st and this is Airborne Unlimited. The fall flying season gets a push tomorrow with a start to the third rendition of the Land Sport Aviation Showcase, an alternative to the Trouble Sebring event in January, not always the most temperate time of year for Mid-Florida. This year's event has cranked up a number of participatory experiences with forums and workshops dedicated to building aircraft components, engines, and other attractions. The event has seen solid progress as it got rolling under the supervision of former Sebring boss Jana Phillip. The vendor total this year is said to exceed 100 exhibitors, and online ticket sales have reportedly doubled over last year's total. The scope of the event has expanded somewhat in response to requests from visitors, and Phillip seems responsive to taking the showcase where her customers want it to go. For instance, at direct request, Underwing camping near the showcase site will be a part of this year's attractions. The showcase is held at the Deland Municipal Airport in Deland, Florida. The showcase welcomes all aviation enthusiasts interested in affordable recreational flying, offering a special emphasis on home-built, light sport aircraft and ultralights. The event opens Thursday, November 1st and continues through to November 3rd. A&N will be there to check out this year's news and offerings. After the break, pilot arrested with loaded gun and carry-on luggage. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We our Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at airplanefactory.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited, Aero TV, Airborne Man, the AMA Drone Report, our website or podcast, just email to news spy at aero news.net. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. A Sun Country Airlines pilot was arrested Friday at Southwest Florida International Airport for carrying a loaded gun in his carry-on luggage. The pilot was Brian Andrew McTeams, 54, of Minnetonka, Minnesota. TSA found the firearm in his suitcase, and he was arrested and released on $5,000 bond. McTeams is licensed to carry a firearm in Minnesota, but his permit is not valid in Florida. TSA allows unloaded firearms to be carried in locked containers and checked luggage. Airbus has welcomed Delta Airlines as the first U.S. carrier to take delivery of the Airbus A220 aircraft. Delta's A220 will enter service in early 2019, making Delta the fourth global airline to operate the aircraft, previously known as the Bombardier C-Series. The C-Series Aircraft Limited Partnership welcomed Airbus as lead partner earlier this year promoting the change of the name to the Airbus A220. Delta is the largest A220-100 customer with a firm order of 75 aircraft. Dark Arrow has chosen Onshape as its primary CAD system to aid in development of the Dark Arrow 1, a two-seat carbon fiber aircraft. 
the most popular kid airplanes on the market, are around 200 miles per hour maximum cruise speed, and have a 1,000 mile range tops, says Dark Arrow CEO Riley Carl. For the Dark Arrow 1, we're targeting a maximum cruise speed of 275 miles per hour and a range of over 1,500 miles. U.S. Army pilots exercise supervised autonomy to direct an optionally piloted helicopter through a series of missions to demonstrate technology developed by Sikorsky and DARPA. The series of flights marked the first time that non-Sikorsky pilots operated the Sikorsky Autonomy Research Aircraft, a modified S-76B commercial helicopter, as an OPV aircraft. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Bell 407 GXI has been validated by the FAA after receiving certification from Transport Canada earlier this year. Chilean-based customer Eagle Copters took delivery of the first Bell 407 GXI to be used for corporate transportation. Bell announced the latest enhancements to the Bell 407 platform featuring improved pilot awareness, higher precision navigation, enhanced engine controls, and improved connectivity. This is an important milestone for the program, and Bell is proud to announce the first delivery since the introduction of the Bell 407 GXI earlier this year, says Susan Griffin, Executive Vice President of Commercial Business. Our customers continue to complement the aircraft's performance and enhanced all-glass digital cockpit. According to Bell, pilots benefit from high-definition displays and faster processors that provide increased brightness and clarity, faster startup and map rendering, as well as an option for connectivity to tablets and smartphones. The Rolls-Royce M250 C47E4 dual-channel FADAC turbine engine delivers exceptional hot and high performance, fuel efficiency, and the ability to cruise at 133 knots. Newly designed executive configuration options bring a modernized look and passenger experience to the 5 seat club cabin. After these messages, Thrush 510G Switchback Firefighter Certified. In collaboration with NASC, introducing Sonics Aerospace, bringing you the Taros Group 4 UAS, the redesigned Tiger Shark Block 4, and the Subsonics Twin Jet UAS, all derived from flight proven manned systems, not concepts, real aircraft. More at sonicsaerospace.com. Welcome back. The FAA has granted full certification to a dedicated firefighting aircraft, the Thrush 510G Switchback. The switchback is designated as a single-engine, air tanker aircraft. It has the ability to accurately deliver 500 gallons of water, retardant or fire suppressant. The aircraft features a unique fire gate delivery system built by Transland. Transland Gatebox allows the switchback to deliver a full 500-gallon salvo drop in less than two seconds, while providing a narrow draw pattern for an effective fire line. The company notes that the switchback can convert back to agricultural spray operations, allowing operators to keep the aircraft working and generating revenue, both in and out of fire season. In addition, the Thrush 510G is available in both single and dual cockpit dual control configurations. The first two 510G switchbacks have been delivered to the Georgia Forestry Commission where they are being put to service for fire detection, rapid response firefighting, and training. The 510G switchback can also land on unimproved surfaces closer to a wildfire. This allows the aircraft to reload and be back in the air over a fire in a matter of minutes. Rapid response suppression is a critical tool for frontline fire control. 
Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airport Unlimited is streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, alternating with Airport Unmanned on Tuesday and the AMA Drone Report each Thursday. Additional breaking news bulletins may be posted for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. We'll see you tomorrow.